our day The way of the crypt of warriors Can't rely on the bank There's no way Guys, next we're RoadToRear.com. Just to check up here on Saturday, there's a couple things I wanted to highlight um, that I didn't uh, yesterday in the Commitment of Traders report when I was looking at it. Down over here on the far right is the non-reportable position. They uh, added almost 3,000 longs and um, bought back 911, 911 shorts. Does that is that number significant? Who knows? We'll find out. Um, for a total of 3822 contracts, that's a pretty damn big amount, about 20 million ounces going long. Don't know who that entity is, um, but it's non-reportable, so it's not a bank. It's not a uh, managed money. It's not a swap dealer. It's not a producer. Who fits into that category? I, an individual, probably. Um, oh, by the way, you know who it could be, actually? is this jackass <laughs> jeffrey christian jeffrey christian put out a challenge uh it's called the cpm challenge is what he, he wanted to say he claims there's so much silver you, you don't even know what you're talking about if you say the silver price is going to go up um so he, he put out there a challenge that he will sell a hundred million ounces of silver to anybody who wants to buy it and he can do that at prices below 28 dollars that's his challenge. So, Jeff Chris, hey, if somebody's got, uh, what is that, uh, the $2.8 $2. billion, um, take Jeffrey up on this. Actually, don't take Jeffrey up on this. You know why? When you buy metal, you got to trust who you're dealing with. If anybody trusts Jeffrey Christian, I have a lovely swamp land I can sell you in Florida. Um, this guy is a fraud. I just, you know, I don't even talk about him much. Unless he's uh, doing crazy things like this, um, and he's the one who opened it up that it, that uh, the force majeures are going to be coming hard and fast, so get ready. He just he's just a, a non-entity, a non-player, what, what an MPE, non-player entity. That's what Jeffrey Christian is. Um, yeah, he's bought and paid for by the shell banks that he. I mean, he was when Goldman Sachs bought Jay Aaron, they got this schmo with that trade with that purchase back in the 80s and then as they said okay we got to rig the silver and gold markets but we need a third party analyst to stay on our side so everybody knows we're not lying and cheating and that's what they set up uh jeff christian cpm group and uh yeah i would say 90 i don't know the exact number 95 percent or so of his uh revenue comes in from the banking cabal from those that rig the market so what he says doesn't matter but hey if you, if you want to have some fun take him take him up on this bid um i would definitely definitely check the bars when you get the bars i'm sure it'll be comex uh thousand ounce bars i would drill them don't trust this guy do not trust him but uh yeah if, if he wants to sell 100 million ounces for less than 28 uh, uh per ounce come on elon call his bluff on this one um especially especially if silver jumps to 30 tomorrow who knows what it's going to do but we do know somebody's buying maybe that's jeffrey maybe maybe someone took him up on his bet and he's trying to track down 100 million ounces this is only uh 20 though he's gonna have to get uh, five times that so maybe maybe the non-reportable is jeffrey Kish. wouldn't that be funny um yeah but let's see you take delivery on the comics right as far as silver, this is what happened in the last week, uh, last sorry, the last three weeks of the Operation Silver Slam. Um, Ted Butler warned everybody about it. Comes Wednesdays and Thursdays is when they slam, bang, right there for that week. That's where all the big commercials are covering. They let it go up again, and then they slam it down Wednesday and Thursday, and then they let it recover again. And then boom, they slam it down again, slam it down again, slam it down. Now we're down at the bottom. They've they've they have literally bought back all the shorts that they put on such that Ted Butler put out the red alert. It, we're at mission accomplished now. Will they try to slam one more time? I don't know. If they do, how much can they get? Nah, probably not much. Because, I mean, from here, this is the big one. This is massive amount of managed money. I mean, they, they were able to, this last week, the last reporting week, they were able to uh, get 13,000 contracts, 13,663, which is 
68 million ounces covered. Yes, this is derivative silver. I understand that. But, um, yeah, that's why it all happened. And, and we, hey, we had the front row seats sitting on our lawn chairs with physical silver in hand. And there we are. Now we're, it looks like we're bottoming here. Will they try to do something on, uh, two, on Wednesday or Thursday again? I don't think so, but they might. Again, they can click a mouse and set the price to minus $40. Just always remember that. Um, is it over? Eh, it this this is the the time and place and and what has occurred over the past three weeks is what they were trying to do. So it should be mission accomplished for the bad guys. Um, even should be this week. And again, I as I said, this is the last slam down for Silver Eagles. I don't think Silver Eagles will be below thirty dollars again once they rise up above them. Um, but you can get them today. Uh, contact Will Lair Perpetual Assets. Retroassets.com, Andy Sheckman. I don't know if they have them under 30 bucks. I know Will does. Silver Eagles under 30 bucks. And, and you might be able to find your local guys with Silver Eagles under 30 bucks. Um, and I am a big fan of Silver Eagles because of all the things I've talked about. We will be returning and using those as money in some form and fashion. So, also uh, interesting, the World Economic Forum. Look at what their, uh, this is their uh, top stories of the week. <laughs> Solar panels are sending silver prices up. The phone costs two to twelve dollars in Europe's largest green facade. Changes to solar panels are squeezing the world's silver supply. A new, more efficient panel design uses silver in paste form. This year, the solar sector could account for 14% of silver consumption, up from 5% in 2014. But globally, there's a shortage of primary silver mines, and demand is growing faster than supply. Experts say solar panels could exhaust 85 to 90% of silver reserves by 2050. This is from the World Economic Forum. You don't think they know what's about to happen? They just need someone to blame. Uh, Jeffrey Christian said this at what, what you just saw is not what's happening. He says there's no silver shortage. As a matter of fact, he can get you 100 million ounces. So somebody take him up on this, but be very careful. You're not dealing with a, a mentally stable human. <laughs> uh, Wall Street Journal today woke up. A, the scary math behind the world's safest assets, U.S. Treasury bills, it is scary. Everybody with the old Treasury bills, we're going to see the banks start plopping one by one because um, the, the, their old Treasuries are, are being decimated. Um, because why, why would you buy an old treasury if you can get it, you know, a 10 year at what, 5% or 5 point something risk-free, I mean, dollars are dollars. And oh, by the way, those who think that the dollar is dead anytime soon, don't forget what our friend Alan Greenspan said. Are U.S. treasury bonds still safe to invest in? Very much so. I think there's a, this is not an issue of credit rating. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. So there is zero. Look at Austin Goolsby's face. That guy is a joke. Austin Goolsby went to Harvard. He is a, a member of the Larry Summers, if you build it, they will come philosophy. Behavioral economics was his focus at, at Harvard and when he worked for the Treasury. Larry Summers taught behavioral economics. It's like if you talk about something enough, it's going to happen because people believe if people believe things are okay, they're going to go out and spin. He's trying to spin this in, in his head right now. Oh, shit. Greenspan said something that is obvious, that the dollar can never die, ever, because they can print as much as they want. Now, the purchasing power of that dollar, you can't guarantee, but the U.S. cannot default. And people who say, oh, the dollar is going to default, no, it will never default. You can print as much as you want. And they do, by the way, and they do. Austin Goolsby, there's a guy who belongs in jail as well. Zero probability of default. There's zero probability of default, which is correct. If I had the Bix Weir coin and I could print as many of them as I wanted of them, I would have zero probability of default because every time I get in trouble, I'll just print more like my government does. Um, really interesting. It's coming down to the, the wire at about the time we thought it would, September time frame. Democrats say it'll take a lot more than eyewitnesses, bank testimony, bank records, audio, video, complete confessions for them to believe the Biden, believe Biden family did anything wrong. 
Oh my God! And here's some quotes from Eric Swalwell. We all know that guy. He uh, he's a deep state lefty guy. I don't even want to go where he's been, but uh, he says, "Nah, I'm not buying it." And then the quote under it: "If you're wanting me to believe President Biden and his family have been involved in a far-reaching money for favor scheme for years, you'll need to show me a bit more than rock-solid, irrefutable evidence." If the Biden family was corrupt, I think I would have heard about it from my Chinese spy girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he got busted for having a Chinese spy as a girlfriend. Um, he is, we all know the Jeffrey Epstein angle. It's, it's, they get these politicians through sexual whatever, get these politicians in their pocket. So they do whatever they are told. This guy was one of the worst. Eric Swalwell. He's the guy who went after Trump blindly and just... The guy belongs in jail. He might be already be in jail. I'm not quite sure who's in jail and who's not. But uh, it's a nice little... I don't think he said that. It's probably a parody. But who knows? It's funny anyway. Uh, and then we have uh, the House pr uh, Press Secretary. The president and his family have done nothing wrong, said White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre, who is a woman and is also black and is also gay. Quote, it's completely normal for families to enrich themselves by selling political influence to foreign corporations and governments. Any uh, assertion to the contrary is simply Republicans grasping at straws. Also, I will not be taking any more questions regarding bribery allegations. <laughs> That's, it's exactly what happens. Not word for word, mind you, but it is. And then uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, one of the, the ringleaders, I see nothing wrong here. Of course, he doesn't because he's in on the game. Quote, so he's on, he's on tape taking bribes. It's not like it proves he took bribes or something, said uh, Chuck Schumer. <laughs> yeah, it's from the Babylon Bee, which is like a, a satirical type site. But the truth is underlying all of that stuff. We need to ditch all our political hacks. We need to ditch our regulators. We need to completely clear out the government and start fresh, I believe. We'll find out. Get your assets in own, in your own possession, obviously. Oh, by the way, yeah, uh, Veritasium jumped twenty five percent today. I told you guys, you go in there with a couple thousand dollars, you're gonna double the price of Veritasium. It's just hard to get. I've I've been accumulating on when it hits the lows, um, and hopefully I'll get enough to give them out as uh, party gifts at Road to Ruta for the private road subscription. But right now we're giving out the silver Ruta coins. Um, they look like this. The coolest coin ever made, double struck, each individually numbered and hand painted. Um, comes with a certificate of authenticity and an awesome blue case. It's really cool. Go check it out if you want to join the private road. That's what we give out. No, we don't sell these anywhere. I, I've seen some on eBay or some for 50, 60 bucks. Um, I'm not selling them. <laughs> People sell them on occasion. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Get yours today. Sign up for RoadToRoad.com and keep watching that action. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.